Hi and welcome to Practical Software Engineering. My name is Ludwig and in this video you're going to learn how to use string templates in Kotlin and why you should use them. Now if you're interested in more software engineering related content with practical examples, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. With that out of the way, let's start with an example to motivate you to use string templates. Let's have a look at the main function. Here we just wrote a simple hello world program. It just prints hello world to the command line. Now let's say we want to make it a little bit more personal and interactive. And instead of just printing hello world, we want to read in the username from the command line and then print hello, the username and an exclamation mark. So let's start by asking the user for her or his name. We use a print line and say, Please enter your name. Now we are going to create a read only variable for the username and we call it name. Here we can use the read line function from the Kotlin standard library. And this just reads in one line from the command line. Now, if we didn't have string templates, say in Java, we have two options. The first option is using string concatenation. So we remove the world, then we separate the string into two substrings. So one for the hello and one for the exclamation mark. And now we can use plus signs to insert the variable. So plus name and another plus. Now this way we implemented the functionality and we can try it out by running the code. And here you can see it asks me for my name. I put in Ludwig and it prints hello Ludwig. Great, we implemented our requirements. So now let's improve our code. We can get rid of the string, the variable and then the string by using string interpolation. This means that we just use a single string and we use a percent and an S and the dot format method. And here we pass in name. The dot format method inserts the variable we pass in here for the percent %s. So if we run it again, we can see that it does exactly the same, but the code is a little bit more readable. So here you can see Ludwig and it prints again, hello Ludwig. So this looks a little bit better, but in Kotlin, we can improve it even further. We can replace this percent %s and the dot .format method with a string template. Now this way we just have a single string and we directly insert the variable. And this is done with a dollar sign. So we use a dollar sign and then the variable name. And this way we insert the variable into the string. Now if we run it again, you can see it still behaves exactly the same, but the code is even more readable. So it asks me for my name, I put in Ludwig and it prints hello Ludwig. Awesome, so we implemented our requirements and we cleaned up our code. Now, what if some requirement would change and instead of just printing the name once, we want to print it twice. If we would just type plus and again name, you can see that it just continues as a string. So for expressions, we have to use an expression string template. And this just means that we have to surround the entire expression with curly braces. This way we can have expressions in string templates. And that's basically it on string templates in Kotlin. If you found some value in this video, please leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.